Okay. Alright. So hello again, everyone. Focus Storm here. I'm reintroducing myself because I've been having some bloody tech issues this session, which is annoying. Uh, it seems like even though my OBS says I'm live streaming right now, I am unable to actually connect to kick.com for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I've tried rebooting both systems. It's just not working, so I don't know. Um, and then my recording also didn't work for the start of this episode, so we're starting here now. We're still in the Flame Temple. Uh, we've cleared out most of the padlocks. There's just one more, this one right over here. And that's our target. So, with any luck, we'll be able to find it, and then access the big bad of this area. I apologize for the issues, I'm not really sure what's going on tonight, but it's definitely a hassle. I'll say that much. Okay, so here's the chest. Thank you for the arrows. Now that- actually, a lot of the chests in this temple have been giving me arrows. Are we going to be using arrows in the fight coming up? I wonder. I see, so if we manage to hit the turntable... ...or some turntable... ...for this... That rotates this the opposite way it needs to be. Oh, I see. I just keep rotating it. There we go. Okay, so that would allow me to use this track to go down. And then I think that just brings me back to floor three. Or maybe not. Let's keep exploring this way. We have the route mapped out, so we can always go back if it's not where we need to go. I can do it! Yeah, this just brought us back to floor three. So I think this was meant to be the escape route after we... Oh, wait. Shoot. I forgot to turn it off. That's okay. We have extras. So let's head back the way we came and figure out how to descend onto the final gong. Hop up, and boom! Here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go! Uh -oh. uh, can you push both of us? Well done. Let's also activate this one. That should help. And two. And I just reactivated the first one. Okay. So now that we got all that sorted out, let's hop back on this one, go back to the tower we just came from, and then we just have to figure out how to go down. That shouldn't be too crazy, I don't think. Alright, so we need to find our way in there. Perhaps that bridge we crossed over... 
Now, if we jump down here, are we still... Do we end up on the outside? Hang on. Maybe this is where we go. Okay, well, this unlocks this. So that's free. But that is not where we want to be. We want to be inside here. So how do we get inside this building? Is the question. Oh, is this it? Well, no, this is just the area we were in earlier. So where's the entrance? I don't see anything on this side. I don't think flying around the temple is going to give me one. Hmm. I don't see anything above. Try climbing around here just to double check. Yeah, it's not like the Wind Temple. Or is it actually? No, it's not. I thought that I thought I thought I saw a gap in the wall, but I was mistaken. Hmm. Yeah, so I mean, we've used every cart to, that goes here. Hmm. On the third floor, there's this. So, hmm. Let's see. Please climb. Thank you. Oh, no. I thought this. I thought this was a red rock for a second. It wasn't. Man. Where's the entrance? We've used every train that goes here from every angle. So, how are we supposed to get inside? I can see the gap right there. There's a hole right there that I'm supposed to fall down. But how do I get to it? Okay, my sh rune isn't working. Oh, it's because I'm crouched. Whoop. Link, turn around! Oh my god! Did you turn any slower? <sighs> okay, well that was bad. Oh, 
wait a minute. Does that just work? Oh, I think I just got us inside. Although I am curious how exactly I was supposed to get in here normally. Can I, like, ascend upwards and find out how I was supposed to get in? Yeah, let's see. I gotta know. How was I supposed to get in here? No, this is just a treasure chest. Oh, thank you. Okay, there is no way in here. No red rocks, no nothing. So let's head down to four. Oh, here's the entrance. Oh, I'm a fool. This is where the red rock was that we destroyed a while back. We just had to go in here. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but that's okay. We figured it out. Here we go. Yep. Thank you very much. And now, my friend, Yunobu, where are you? Uh, there you are. Goro! Here we go. <laughs> All right. All the padlocks are released. The door should open now. Let's go see Goro. Yep. All right. Let's finally open this cursed door. All right, so before we head in there, let's just do a quick survey of our stuff. So my armor has to be this, that's fine. A lot of my weapons are flammable, so those are out. I do have a semi-decent amount of weaponry. I think I should combine my long sword and my spear though. So let's do that. Oh, wrong thing. No, 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 no. Uh, let's... Do I want a spear or a sword? I'll take a sword. Oh, uh, this way. Oh, I got a bonus damage. I guess because they're Zonite weapons. Okay. I have a lot of flame emitter clubs. I don't know how useful those will be. And... Using these doesn't seem very worthwhile. I may need to depend on my arrows for this. As for shields, I'm pretty set, honestly. And I know I have a lot of bows. So for food... Uh, I guess I'll mostly be relying on my attack buff food. My mighty bananas. And I do have some other tidbits as a backup. Alright, well, I think I'm as prepared as I'm gonna be. Let's give it a shot. All this just to lower a door. Huh? It opened! We gotta smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda. And I'm sure nothing bad will happen when we do. Well, here we go. I can't shoot you straight up. I can do it! Let's go. Oh, wow. He just rolled on the roof. I wonder what creature we'll be facing here. Where's Zelda? Not here. But in its place, we have... <gasps> That's... Really, really big! 
that has the Calamity Ganon's eyeball. What are you? Got some long legs. Oh no! Is Zelda inside the monster? Scourge of the Fire Temple, Marble Goma. That's a Goma? Blake! We've got a saver, Goro! Okay. Here I go! Darn it! Be careful, Boro! Watch out! Okay, out. All right, you know, but where are you? I need you. Not what I needed. Oh, oh they have shock waves. Okay. Oh, run, 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 run. Maybe there's a way to expose its weak point. Yeah, there is. I need you to help me, though. There. Oh, jeez, what's it doing? Okay. That hurt. Okay, insta-kill. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Oh, he's just, he's just waiting for us. Alright, you know, I need you to help me here. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> oh my... Are you serious? <sighs> okay. Stop running away from me. <laughs> Okay, so now you're gonna do a big shockwave attack. I'm gonna run the heck away. Okay, you're not gonna do a shockwave attack. There's two. All right, his weak his weak spot's exposed. I'm doing no damage. I don't have any stronger weapons. I kind of figured that would happen, but I just didn't get off in time. Let's give myself more movement speed. <laughs> Why did that not work? Oh. Okay, you know, boo. Stop running away from me. There. Oh my god, seriously. Oh. All right, recharge, recharge, recharge. Go! Okay, you're gonna do an attack again. Yes, you can. I see. Okay, he's gonna reform now. Really? Iframes? Fine, be that way. Okay, there's one. There's two! How do my arrows do? I am doing no damage. Alright, so let's wait for them to reform fully. There we go. Watch 
Yes, it did. I am doing so little damage. I'm using a weak bow. That does, probably doesn't help. Let's switch to my Zonite bow. Jeez. Okay, I interrupted him. I thought he was gonna do his mega shockwave attack. It's gonna explode. Get back! Gordo! Yep. Okay, that's better. What happens if I equip a ice fruit? That changes nothing. Okay, we have a way to damage him. We'll just have to use a ton of arrows. Uh, you know, Boo, please get over here. Okay, he's gonna spit. Yep. Okay, phase one's over. What's phase two gonna be? Okay. Uh-oh. Now's my chance, I can't do anything. Oh, I, I knocked it down somehow. One more, get out. Okay, I somehow knocked it down without even noticing. Okay, you're gonna jump on the ceiling again. I'm gonna try to aim for your limbs. I am surprisingly accurate with this. Okay. At this rate, we got this in the bag. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yep. I'd be running. Okay, now I can't hit you. That's a problem. Oh, damn. Alright, now the issue is I need to actually hit those legs. Did I get him? Yes. I'll just shoot him from here. Ceiling, fire, I think I missed. Nope, I got him. Oh, never mind. Okay, he's gonna take one more round. Yeah, 
And go! Now's your chance! Three. Nope, never mind. That was it. We did it! I guess the marble rock roast is done, too. But first... <laughs> oh, there's the secret Zonai stone. Container. Boop. Oh, I still had more to go on this bar. I don't remember how many hearts I have. Um, Link has in total in this game and the last one. Well, time for our dramatic cutscene. been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior, and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. Let me tell you about the imprisoning war, and the duty of our people. Many years ago, in the Kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days... A great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the Kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. And to fight the Demon King, Rauru trusted us with secret stones. Incredible artifacts that amplified our powers. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire. Stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the Demon King. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. That was... the imprisoning war. And then some time later... The Sage 
edge of time, one of the six sages came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. The magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like nothing more than to smash the Demon King. I swear that when the Demon King returns, the Sage of Fire will awaken again. The Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. Yonobo, Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman. Link. So, it's my duty to help you fight? Hmm... And he wants me to inherit this? Really? You can do it. I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down! There's no way I'll let that happen! I can do this! Now which finger will you take? My thumb. Mm-hmm. With that ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise, I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. Well, that was fast. All right, now let's see. Check up on the city now. No, it just evaporates like that. Oh. 
Now, will their intoxication go away just as quickly, I wonder? I mean, probably yes, but it's fair to ask. <laughs> yep, there they go. I can hardly believe you making me worry like that. I oughta. Mm. Please don't be mad at President Yonobu. Oh. It's okay, Slurgo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things after all. If I had just been more careful. <laughs> you said you put Goron City back to normal, and you did. Oh. You're the hero of Goron City. You were when you made Yonobuko, and you still are now. Huh. I thank you, Goro. Oh. And we have to and we have to thank you too, Link. You got rid of the marble rock roast and smiles are coming back to Goron City. Keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Huh. Ugh, I can't even think about it. Ooh. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? Oh. Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. It was all so strange. Now that I think about it, it seemed like she was walking toward the giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. President Yonobu, do you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Like, maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda? Huh? No way! Oh. Hang on, come to think of it. The person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time, she said she wanted to help the swordsman Link. Now that I think of it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. Mm. I don't know why or how she was there in the past, huh? but whatever the case is, that means the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. And that imposter is making a bad name for our Princess Zelda. That's no good. Yep. We gotta find him and pummel him, Goro. I'll ask my guys at Yonobuko to search the area around the city for any leads on the princess. Huh. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Ooh. Link. You can count on me. Val Yonobu, Sage of Fire. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar of Yonobu. The enthusiasm's great, though. Let's not go digging up any more weird rocks. You got that, President Yonobo? Alright. What's this? Oh. I remember something about that other Zelda. When we were mining Marble Rock Rose on the north side of Death Mountain, she said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the Lizard Lakes, but she didn't say why. Bit surprised to hear the word lizard legs coming out of your craw. Don't hear much about them legs these days. I still recall an old nursery rock battle. One brother hunts when another brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Not everyone knows this, but the lizard legs are also called the lizard brothers. I searched high and low from back in my younger years. I always thought treasure might be there somewhere. Then in my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. I was covered in lava before you could say boom. Boy, I've forgotten it all about my search for the lakes. That's it. Talking about this has got me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch was way back when led me to the north side. Does the Nobuko dig out there too, so we can hop into my cart and get cracking? Gah! My aching back. Okay, so I guess that's my job. But before that... Oh. Oh. Travelers like us gotta keep marching forward day and night. Thank goodness it's safer out here now, so we can travel at any time of day without fear. Yeah. I'm glad I made it to Goron City, but geez, who knew fire resistant clothes would be so expensive? My girlfriend's waiting for me at Wetland Stable, so I gotta make my purchase and head back fast. Oh. Nice clothes, my wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh. That's what I wanted to buy. It looks rugged and a little old fashioned, and if I'm being honest, but that's what makes it great. Now I know I have to buy this. So how much do these cost now? I think these are the same prices they were when I bought them. I think. Oh, is that a Gerudo? 
What brings you here? Sabag. Oh, sorry. Savag is an expression where I'm from. It means good day. Although kids these days shorten it to Sava. Mm -hmm. I'm Ramella. I'm a jeweler from Gerudo Town in southwestern Hyrule. The Ori Nobuko handles are high quality, so I travel here to mm. procure them. But at the moment, there aren't any available here. I don't suppose you have any amber, do you? I'll buy 10 pieces of amber for 200 rupees. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. It's not so much that I doubt your price, it's more the case that I need amber for other stuff, I think. Anyway. Yeah, this was a scene I wanted to check out. How are we doing here? Master Rohan, please let me try making the boulder breaker again. You got some gall, kid. After you up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marble rock roast, what is it? I'm done with you. I've got no excuses. But I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker. First let me prove myself, please. If it's still no good, you can be done with me. Well, you've got your enthusiasm, and that counts for something. But without materials, how do you plan to do this? I need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds. Since so you spent all our material funds on rubble rock rolls, we're dried up. We don't have money or materials. Uh, I... I'll do something about that. I was trying to be optimistic. I need a cobble crusher. Well, I guess I'll give you them. You, you have it all? Yeah. Master, watch me do this. I'm gonna complete the boulder breaker. It's gonna be perfect. Huh? Put my heart and pound it and pound it with life. Hopefully, I get the boulder breaker afterwards. Yeah. Take a look. Hmm. I don't even need to touch it to know. The rocky luster, the well-crafted handle, the blunt yet sturdy edge. You've done good, Fugo. I've seen many a boulder breaker in my time, but this, this is one of the finest. Thank you so much, Master. I've never gotten praise from you before, ever. Oh, jeez. You had your head on crooked for a while, but you seem up to snuff now. Looks like there's nothing left I can teach you. From here on out, this forge is yours. Starting today, you'll be standing where I stood for many a year. Master. And you helped too. Without the materials, I'd never be able to do this. As things, I want you to have this boulder breaker. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but a Highland would need an immense amount of strength. My customers are my top priority, so you should come back here if it breaks on you. I'll need materials, but I'll make it again good as new as before. And I was hoping for an indestructible weapon. Although it is a pretty powerful one, so I'll take that. Okay, so what else have we got? Do, do, do. So this seems to be located right here. Oh, was not cooked myself. No, so this is just ch chatting to them. Uh, gathering pirates, Elden's colossal fossil. I guess we might as well do that. In fact, actually, yeah. So here's what I think we'll do now. We'll head over here to the fossil because I'm curious what that's about. Oh, there are the two lizard flakes right over there. And then I think we'll actually head over this way and check out the Hyrule Forest. I want to know what the Korok are up to. And I'm also, some, well, probably in vain, hoping that they have the Master Sword again, because I want it back. But they probably don't. And maybe we'll find some shrines along the way. So, let's head up here. Yep. 
<laughs> swim, swim, swim. <laughs> Up we go. So actually, since we happen to be here, is that airplane still here? Or is that gone now? Aww. Well, that's a shame. Alright, so our goal is to head north. And there's a shrine over there. Let's go check it out, unless it's... Nope, it's not one I've been to before. And there's another shrine over there. Perfect. Oh, and, there are the, and here are the wizard lakes. So what was their whole deal again? Since we happen to be here? One brother hunts while the other hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. So one hunts, one hides. I think he hides. And he hunts for what's inside. I can fly to them from this shrine, so let's just head here first. Uh, so what do we got? Sibachitak Shrine. Go, go, go. All right. Alignment. Hmm. I got the concept, but how am I supposed supposed to change the alignment how am I supposed to change the alignment of these? I don't see any controls for this. Unless hang on, let me like move this way. Maybe if I use this and then stop. Aha. And then I'm not gonna be able to reach the top one from here, so let's fly upwards. Thank you. I was running out of weapons. Oh, uh. That was the best method for me to just hit this one and then. Okay, probably should have deployed my glider there. That's okay. Up we go. Hut. That was a fun short challenge. I would like a light of blessing, please. <laughs> oh, sweet, that gives me four. I'll be sure to cash that in before this session's over. In fact, actually, hang on. I gotta take a break for a second. I'll be right back.
<sighs> okay, I'm back. I have to take care of some business for a moment. So. Let's see. Oh. oh let's get out. Alright. Oh, hello. Okay, are you done? Okay, let's quickly grab another weapon. Thank you. Yep, we're heading the right way. I guess I'll pick this up. You wouldn't think a volcano would be a place for wolves and deer, but what do I know? Alright, so here's one wizard lake. Yeah, so the whole riddle was to get what's inside, which is perhaps here. Now I'm curious, can you know we'll break these? It can! That's actually very nifty. Lizard's Burrow. I think this is the place. It's just, and there's the treasure chest. So what's in here? Varudanya Divine Helm. A helm worn by the warrior who protected the Gorons at a time beyond memory, it's said to deepen the bond with the Gorons when worn by a Hylian. Huh. So do the other races have a similar helmet? I wonder. That's kind of neat. Okay, so we found this. This is the fossil we want to check out. And I think there was a shrine over here. So what order do I want to do things in? I think I'll head over here first to see if I can get that shrine. And then we'll head over this way. Uh, and I just noticed there's a little car over here. The terrain's a little awkward for it, but that's still pretty neat. And actually, given where I plan to go, I can't use this. Maybe next time. Please climb up. Thank you. Yeah, there's a shrine. Right there. And as for this plateau, I don't know what all this is about. Hmm. Interesting. This right here seems to be the gateway between Goron territory and Akala. Well, let's see what this shrine's about. K 
Kimayat Shrine. Oh, jeez, it's one of these. Yep, I know. Proving ground smash. Well, let's take the weapons they do give me. So smash tells me that I'm going to use items to crush these guys. Oh, I can move this platform. Hello. <laughs> Get in the water, please. Or don't. There. Oh, wait, hang on. I can't grab it from here. Please let me grab something. Come on, seriously? How am I supposed to smash if I can't grab anything? Wait, over there. No, they just have frozen shrimp. They just have chili ice fruits. Actually, hang on. That doesn't do anything. Uh. Ow. Okay, this is not gonna work. Move, Link, please move. How hard do I gotta mash the run button before you move? Hang on, what happens if I freeze you guys? That did not do anything. Okay, well I can't break these pillars with anything. So what am I supposed to do? I can't break these pillars at all. Yeah, I don't see what I can do here. How are you guys even seeing me behind a wall? What the heck? No, not the photo. Blink. Yeah, I can't grab this. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, my bow isn't doing any damage. Like, I'm clearly supposed to break these pillars, but there's no way to break the pillars. I don't have any bomb fruits or anything. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, should I just accept death and come back later? Like, 
Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. So what am I supposed to do? I can't break the pillars. Yeah, forget it. Let's just die. <laughs> I don't get what I'm supposed to do there. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm supposed to break the pillars to get the objects and then take out the constructs, but, like, there's no way to break the pillars. <sighs> I'll have to come back to this one. It doesn't make any sense to me as is. Alright, well, moving on. Let's just head back over here and make our way to the fossil. I would reassemble this car, but I think we're about to go cliff jumping, so I don't think that'll help much. Oh, hush. So this looks like the spot. And I'm guessing that's the bear the boundary of no re return. So we can't go the that way. Oh. So there's the art, there's the fossil, and there's the shrine. Two for one. Let's go. This is an interesting skeleton indeed. Just look at this skull. Well, actually, this whole thing looks more like a rock than an... Hmm. Also, where'd the shrine go? I think I legit lost sight of it. It must be right above me. Well, that's okay. Let's start with this. So it says go in front of the skull. Oh, here's a breakable rock. Uh, you know my boy. If you would. Okay, it's gonna take a few rounds. And boom! Got some rock salt. Charging, charging! And after all that, there was nothing. Besides some flint. No, well, it'll have to do. Oh, Blood Moon coming in. But first, let's chat with this lady. Oh. I had a feeling you'd turn up. Take a look. Ah. It's pretty impressive that the Leviathan's eyes were fossilized too, right? I don't 
think eyes normally can do that at all, in fact. Wrong. Because look again, the left eyeball is missing. Uh... Sigh, and after I came all this way, I wish you could see him with both his eyes still in his head. The other eyeball has to be around here somewhere, right? Well, I'd pay a small fortune for a chance like that. Alright, we got another blood moon coming in. And I think we found the eyeball. It's right over there. Hut. Go, 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 go. And here he is. When the glow of the I'm aware of the properties of the blood moon. Here we go. There. So what do I get for this? Ten rupees? Huh? Where'd you go? Okay. So I put the eyeball back in and then she and then the lady disappeared. Oh no, there she is. I must have just glazed over her. Well, you have your wish now. Uh, uh, it took so long to walk all the way out here. I wish I could have seen him with both his of his eyes in his head. We'll take a look now. Huh? Wait, huh? Ma! Yeah, I can see both his little eyes. Oh, just look at him. That big, ferocious face, those cute round eyes. I'm not sure whether to cower in fear or pat him on his adorable baby head. That is not a baby head. <laughs> He's just not complete. He's perfect. <laughs> so he found his eye and put him back together? Thank you. Here, take this. Least I can do. Okay, 50 mm. rupees. Wish I could stay here all day, but there's two more leviathans to meet. Maybe the wee leviathan and he was feeling lonely. Let me see your map. Ah. Way over there. Okay. Ah. Alright, Elden's fossil complete, Hebra's fossil's up next. Yep. But now let's try to find that shrine that we saw on the way here. Okay. I hoped in vain for a way, but there was none. And there we go. Out of my way, wolves. Climb in, climb in, climb in. And we're slowly getting somewhere. Actually, I'm not sure I'll make it up there. But we'll give it a good shot.
Yeah, I think once we get a f one full line of health, we're gonna then go back to upgrading stamina. All right, gotta do it. Oh, I should have just gone here. Okay. Oh, there's the sh It was on the same level, I just had to walk around. Alright, well... At least we found it. Hopefully this one makes sense. Mayak Shrine. Let's take a look. Timely catches. What does this do? Hmm. Well, I think the first step is going to be launching myself on here. Oh, I see. So pop this on there. Pop back here. And boom! Okay. I get it now. Fly right over here. Okay, round two. And this looks like the last one. So, what does this do? Okay, so it brings the button out, and then... Where is our... It's not all the way up there, is it? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, jeez, we're going really far up. Okay. So let's just carefully plop this on here. Oh. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Darn it, too slow. Okay. So I need to basically pl I need to throw myself down here fast enough to flick the switch. Okay, so does this diving board go straight to where I gotta go? Yes. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay. Well, that is a pile of nonsense right there. <sighs> it hit the thing and bounced off. Okay. Well, maybe we can salvage this. So let's put you right here.
Are you serious? Uh, okay. This is officially annoying. No, not photo link. I'm holding right. Thank you. Okay. Did the ball just not fall down? I think the ball just didn't fall down. <sighs> All right. Yep, there you are. Oh, come on. Link. Ultra hand. Thank you. Alright. So bring it forward just enough to roll here. Down we go. No, fall down, please. Okay, there. Starting to get a bit frustrated with this. And I was not trying to end up here. That's okay. <sighs> One light of blessing, please. There we go. Okay. So we got that taken care of. Now where should we head to next? Hmm. I think... Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll head to the Korok Forest next. Oh, whoops. This will probably be the last thing we do tonight. Oh, and now the stream seems to be working. Okay, well that's good to know. <sighs> I don't know what's going on tonight. Everything is acting very strange. Actually, hold up. Okay, I'm not heading towards any shrines or anything I've been to, but this formation that we're heading towards right now looks just like one of those ring, like the ring drop that we went through, I think, last episode. Wild coincidence, if so. I don't think I'll be able to make it there from here, though. Oh no, I can. I can make it to the bottom. Hmm. Guess we'll have another quick diversion then. Ah. 
Actually, I don't think we're going to make it there. Okay, let's just aim for Korok Village then. Oh, I think we found a glyph too. Yeah, that's a glyph over there. Alright. So, we got Korok Forest right here, and we have the glyph over there. Actually, I think that's... No, no, I think that's this glyph here. We already did that one. Okay. No hard decisions to be made. Into the forest we go. Now, are we gonna have to do another follow the leader thing like last time to get through here? That is my question. Although this place does seem kind of dark. Don't tell me this place got messed up by gloom too. Oop. I see. So we have to figure out the way forward, which is not where I just went. <sighs> Excuse me. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? This way? Nope. So if I go this way, and then, nope. This, nope. Hmm. All right, I'm a bit confused as to how I'm supposed to get in here. If I go this way, yep. It ain't that. <laughs> yeah, no matter where I go, the fog just rushes in and zaps me. I am unclear as to what I am meant to do. Maybe if I backtrack down the Minshi Woods Road, we'll find someone who can tell me what's up. So let's try that. Hudson Construction seriously gets around. Don't worry, Mr. Goat. We're just passing through. Grabbing some tomatoes while we're at it. And getting attacked by trees. Too slow. Huh. Oh, I got some acorns. That'll help me for that other side quest. See, we got a cavern entrance. I don't feel like going diving today. So we're gonna go right on past this. This looks like a monster fort if I've ever seen one. 
Or maybe it's just a ruin. No, it's a monster fort. I can see it. Oh, that looks like a great fairy over there. Well, it's definitely at least semi rouse you so we can find you again. I haven't been able to awaken any of these ladies. Military training camp? Really? Hello, miss. I know what you are, monster. You've come for my blessing of clothing enhancement. But the, mon the monsters barely wear clothing. I've heard this land is now smothered in gloom and overrun with monsters. I'll never hear a musical troupe again and hear the sweet notes of its violin player. I'm staying sealed up until I hear a violin. I came here to be close to a stable. But now, until I hear a violin and a troupe, I can't bear the thought of going outside again. Okay, well the violin aside, because I have no idea where to find one. You just mentioned a stable, and there, it, and there it is. And where there's a stable, there's a shrine. A Cochio Shrine. Uh, hmm. I'll, I'll take this one out. Okay, here we go. Uh, so what's this about? Rise and fall. I have an idea. Oh, not yet. There we go. Now, will the next round be like this? Eh, uh, sorta. Go, 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 go! Yep. Let me aim, fire! Do, 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 do. And up! Oh. Alright. So we got one more challenge to get to the end. Any chests around here? Okay, I don't see them. I presume this box will be needed. So let me think. We're going to shoot it up into the sky, hop on top of it, and then rewind it up into the sky and then glide. I think that is the plan. Okay, climb up. Yep, here we go. Put. Easy peasy. All right. That's six lights. Whew, okay. All right, so now that we got the checkpoint lined up, let's go check this stable out. I wonder if our good friend Penn is here. Oh, right as I mentioned him. 
Oh, here's a music troupe. And here's a violin. That's exactly what we were looking for for the Great Fairy. Alright. Mind going through it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened that night when the Great Fairy hid herself away? Well, we had our accident here one awful night sometime after the upheaval. We saw the Great Fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our whole bolted away. Off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy, that involved one of our most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to our performances. Or us. Mm. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the Great Fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. No, no, no. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the Great Fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Mm. Whatever reasons the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. Mm. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. And the one who caused all this was a blonde-haired woman, you say, hmm? Could that have been... Oh. oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near the stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman, who I'm guessing you're going to accuse to be Zelda. And I'm going to counter by saying it's Ganondorf. Hmm. My reporter instincts are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Oh. Of course we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the Great Fairy first. Great Fairy? <laughs> ha, asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'll make a decent reporter yet. Ah. Look up at those hills. See that big plant in the distance? See the one that's spouting that pretty stuff? Well, yes, I literally just came from there. That right there is a flower bug with a great fairy lips. They say she really likes this musical troupe, and that's why she moved her to the stable recently. A great fairy who loves this troupe's musical performances? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh? You mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. Mm. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breezer is broken, and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention her horse is gone, we're stuck here. Okay. Well, the wheel issue I can fix real easy. In fact, I'm kind of surprised no one's done this. Oh, whoops. There we go. You have all these spare wheels provided free of charge by Hudson. All you gotta do is stick them on. Okay. That is not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, your breezer's fixed. Now we just gotta get you a horse. Any note there? So am I supposed to use my horse now? I guess I'll grab go I guess I'll grab Goliath. Good. Oh, mushrooms. Nope. No 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 no. Thank you. Yep, so I found my way here. Thank you for the point. Oh, I will take a horse. Mm. I will take Goliath. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. Yeah, I know you can't equip anything to Goliath. I know. Oh. So... Let's 
so how do I do this? No, 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 that's not it. Okay, well that scared him off. That scared him way off. Am I supposed to just pull these guys the whole way? It's very del- What good is a card if it's delicate? Uh, Alright. Maybe I should use another horse. Maybe Goliath is just too big. Ooh. Take horse. Oh. Let's try Oro. Mm. Oh. Oh. No, I don't need to change anything. Mm. <sighs> Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. Do I like, maybe I like talk to you guys? This is a bit of a conundrum. Now I know where the Great Fairy is. She's right up there. Um. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't seem to have a way to actually attach a horse to this cart. And if I pick you up just directly. <laughs> Okay, well, what am I supposed to do then? I can't attach a horse to you. I know my horses are terrified by the Ultra Hand for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Hang on. Oh. The towing harness. Yes, where can I get one of those? Oh. 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 Hmm. Okay. Do I have access to a towing harness? Read the ledger. Uh, points and rewards. I can check my card for this. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's... Royal bridle, traveler's bridle, traveler's saddle, traveler's bridle... I have a towing harness. Maybe I have to equip it first? Hang on. Ooh. A customized horse. So let's see. Mm. What would you like to do? Uh, change equipment. Mm. Towing harness. Oh. Okay. Okay, now I think we're getting somewhere. I knew I didn't even know we had one of these. So Goliath wouldn't have been able to use this because he's so big. But Oro here will do just fine. So 
And now I think I just gotta... Okay, I can't really move that. But... There we go. Okay. Up we go. Let's go at a nice walking speed because you guys can't be jostled back there. And there's our destination right there on the upper left. So let's just follow the road. Nice and smooth. And then we'll get there. I do gotta say though, like I get that you guys have like your nice cushion cart and all that, but consider me. But if you're gonna be traveling around a lot, consider making it more durable. Just saying. Okay, we're gonna take the left road, Oro. Thank you. Oh, I'm seeing some goodies I missed on the way down. Here we go. Thank you, we can take you from here. All right, Maestro, lead us to the performance. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop was playing with all the heart we can for the great fairy, although there's only one performer. Well, conveniently, she's the one we need, so I'm okay with that. Finally! Uh -oh. Here she is! In all her shimmering beauty. Behold! Violin! The great fairy graces us with her presence. Her name is seriously Violin. Are all the other ones going to be named after the instruments they like too? Oh. Truly divine! Hi. Oh, hey, Pen. Ah. Well, look at this. You really helped out here, partner. I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So, this is a great fairy. Huh? Ah, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land, and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. Actually, all of that's true. I hid myself away, mm. but now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. Ah, uh, so that was the imposter Zelda. In the deep dark of the night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. Mm. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and get news written up for the newspaper. Mm. We've worked together to chase four of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Go add this to your nest egg, partner. I right, thank you. And just one other thing, Tracy sent along a bonus for our hard work. That is wonderful. Oh. Pretty rare gear make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. Not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll help you need reach new heights, partner. I'm sure it will, too. I'll have to take this story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. Ah. So long! So... Mastro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troop because they didn't like how I played my violin. <laughs> violin, that wasn't it at all. Why, you move the heart of the Great Fairy yourself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I heard the other Great Fairies are also hiding away in their buds. <laughs> I bet if you, I mean, we play music for them, that cheer them up too. Oh, oh the Great Fairy isn't named Violin, the musician is. 
That's still silly, but whatever. A brilliant idea. And you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop. The Stable Trotters. Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but just you wait. I know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Oh, so now I'll finally be able to open up the other great fairies. Huh? I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Mm -hmm. You'll find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Mia is near the stable in Hebra. Kesia is in the stable near Hyrule Village. Kotera is near the stable in West Decluda. Which I haven't actually visited yet, so I'll need to go check that out at some point. Huh? I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? And while you're here, how about I enhance your clothing for mm -hmm. you? With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Well, oh. let's see what you can do. So, we need Moblin Horns to upgrade the Flame Breaker set. Sticky Lizards to upgrade the Froggy set. A lot of materials to upgrade this. So that can't be enhanced. Snow Quilt Tunic requires red choo choo jelly. Hmm. Okay. Let us upgrade the Varvardania mm -hmm. Helm. Mm -hmm. Whew. Some sets, if you enhance each part twice, give you a special bonus. Not all uh, of them, but some. Mm. And then let's upgrade the Flame Breaker armor. Mm. Huh? <sighs> I could always use more defense. I'm kind of sick of getting one shot every episode by someone. Mm. I'm good uh, for now. And now she goes! Alright. So I think this is going to be where we cut it for tonight. We did pretty good though. We freed the Gerudo up. From all their crit madness. We found a bunch of shrines. We found a giant leviathan skeleton. And we freed a first great fairy. Now, I do want to quickly apologize for the wacky tech issues I've been having tonight. I don't know what was going on with Kick or OBS or what. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to salvage um, footage from this and put it on YouTube so we at least have a complete episode without any hiccups, but we'll have to see. In any case, thanks for sticking with me, everyone. Oh, hang on a minute. I think he... You know, at least I got prime meat from it. Those are like the only animals that'll actually attack me. Anyway, like I was saying, thanks for sticking with me, everyone. Hope to see you later on this weekend. Have a good night. Locust Storm, signing out.